insane. Let me see. You see, I don't have anything going on. Like, like nothing is happening. It's a girl. Oh, 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 oh my God! It's a girl. I just oh knew God. it was a boy. Oh my it's God! It's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, oh my God! Oh it's a girl. It's a girl. Oh my God! 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 O
already four centimeters dilated. They moved us into this room. They gave us, well, gave her the epidural um, about 40 minutes ago-ish, mas o menos. And then now she's about six, probably almost seven at this point, centimeters dilated. Um, we will keep y'all posted. I'ma sneak and record this. We're not supposed to, but I'm gonna record this. Fuck them. Um, and we'll we'll see y'all at, at the birthday. It should we shouldn't be much longer. Um, but this is the room. She's just feeling pressure. Um, she's not in any pain though, right? No pain. No pain. Just pressure. No pain. Oh, just pressure. Gosh. Um, all the staff and all the people have been really, 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 really nice. I'm very supportive, very like, what do you need? How can I help? So, yeah. We'll keep y'all posted, y'all. Tell them about it. And we dun 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 dee dee dun dun dee 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 doo ooh 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 ooh. Thank y'all.
y'all for making it to the end of this video. Welcome to the end of the video. We are the Suttons. I am Sean. And I am Ebony. And, and this, this is, is Naomi. Hero, yes. come in. Come in. Come in. Hero. Come in. Come. He's, he's got to come in. Bang a car. Bang a car. Bang a car. Come say hello. Come here. Come up. <laughs> Tell everybody hi. And that's Hero. Say hi, we're everybody. the Suttons together. We are all the Suttons. We are all here, bro. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go on. Thank y'all so much for watching this video, for clicking it, for getting to the end and listening to what we got to say here. Thank y'all so much. Yeah. Um. So, so yeah. what y'all seen was from the moment we found out we was pregnant um, until, like, current day. Um. So, when we, like, pregnancy, pregnancy, like, going back to December 21st when we mm -hmm. found out how... What was it like going through it for you? Because you were pregnant. I was just supporting you being pregnant, but you were pregnant. <laughs> the pregnancy itself was amazing. I enjoyed every minute of it, um, except for the hard parts. And the hard parts being like going to the doctor by myself, um, going through the yeah. nauseousness, like trying to figure out what works for me as far as eating. Because for the, mo for the first trimester, I didn't have appetite. So I was losing a lot of weight. And then my doctor said I needed to gain weight. So it was like, it was a lot back and forth but we came out triumphant in the end of the first trimester second trimester was a breeze i wanted to do everything the second trimester and told me that i couldn't because i needed to rest um until 32 weeks and then 32 weeks hit i was off to the races i was good until 34 weeks <laughs> and i got tired <laughs> i got tired because i was getting a lot bigger and i was nesting heavy um, so like how was it going in doctor's appointments by yourself that was at, in the beginning it was very very because i was able to go in at the beginning like yeah. at the beginning from from we found out we were pregnant at six weeks i we, we were going to the doctor's appointments together up until yeah. i don't know what like week it march, was corona like was like april. nah i think it was a little bit before then yeah like i think it was like march april no it was before then because we found out that we were having a girl on valentine's day and mm -hmm. i wasn't able to go in those doctor's appointments with you at that point oh so yeah earlier than that but yeah um that was the hardest part in the beginning and then um i kind of got used to it you know that's a hard thing to get used to but i got used to it and what else was the hard part waiting the end the crunch time the 37 weeks Bro, it felt like 39. she was never coming. It felt like she was never going to come. Like, I was so, I felt like week 36, I was like, oh, she can stay in there for, <laughs> she can stay in there for another. Yo, well, I kept saying, you know, like, I kept weeks. saying, I want her to come. I want her to come. Yeah. Like, let's let her come. And baby's like, she can stay. She can stay yeah, as long I'm as fine. she wants. I'm fine. And I'm then fine. we wanted her to come and she would not come. Yeah, 37 weeks pop came in and I was just like, no, I cannot be pregnant forever. 38 weeks, I was so over it. I was so over here walking every day. <laughs> Y'all see her in the video oh where she's like, "Bro, I'm still pregnant." Like, bro, like I was. It was. It was. It was. It was a lot. When when you was when you got to that point when it when we got to the let's say August first, my birthday. So oh we got God. to August from August to the August first to the eighteenth. What was that last like two and a half weeks? I was like? so over. I was literally living day to day, hoping and wishing and praying <laughs> that I was gonna see some sign of her. Whether it be a mucus plug, whether it be a contraction, and we were and you were having kind of those pain. those contractions yeah. were coming. I was having Braxton Hicks. I was having quite a few Braxton Hicks weeks prior, which was like hyping me up. But then making it you was think she was gonna come early because she was not coming. She was just in there playing, <laughs> like she was in there kidding around. But when she did come, she did, and I was so grateful that I was able to have this kind of birthing experience because it was absolutely beautiful. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. It was not as horrible as all of the stories. The that epidural. I heard. The epidural. No. You took that joint like a G. When it I tell y'all she took this, so let's 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 backtrack a little bit. Let's give you a little back information or like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, prior knowledge, if mm -hmm. you will, on my wife. Um, she does not like doctor's offices. No. She does not like needles. No. Um, she does not like people touching, poking, probing those like those visits that women mm -hmm. have to go through. Those types of things. Your yearly. Your no. yearly joints. Y'all know what she's talking about. She don't like those. Mm -mm. Um, she hates. She hates it. She's asthmatic, so she's been in and out of like doctor's offices. So I know what it. I know what it be like. Her life, yeah. you know. So she hates it, and I just knew. I just knew that getting pregnant. I just knew that getting pregnant was gonna be like she was gonna have trouble like. 
you know, drawing blood or, you know, getting needles or like even with the like, epidural. Like or, deathly scared of needles. So, so I was so happy that I was able to make it through. She took it walk. like a G, bro. Cakewalk. Yeah. She took it like a G. I swear, like even in the doctor's visits, I was expecting like even the ones I, I could come yeah. to. You know, when you were getting blood drawn, you were just like, here, have it. Yeah, you know? because I'm just like, at this point, my, as soon as I found out we were pregnant because I wanted to be pregnant and have this baby, have this beautiful baby She girl cut my hair, so y'all. My wife cut my hair. <laughs> Sorry, I had to just tell you. Um, I wanted her so bad. Anything that had to do with any doctor's visits or any blood that needed to be drawn or any anything that had to do with the pregnancy, I'm like, do what you got to do because my baby has to get here and I just can't wait to meet her. And I knew that God was going to carry me through it anyway. But it was just the point that I'm just a vessel and I just need to, whatever she needs, we need to figure out whatever she needs because she has got to get here. First, first week of, first week of being a mom or like first, since we like a month and a half and almost two months, mm -hmm. how is it, how have you felt being a mom the first two months? What has that been like? First two months being a mom, let me just say here, the first two months of being a mom in my situation was probably it was easy being a mom but the situation around us oh my gosh yo y'all need was, to hear so it was, that's it, a it was video a hard part yeah it was it was hard but to be her mom it was it's easy to love her it's easy to um know what she wants because we learned her cries like yeah. she has pretty general cries like you know and she don't cry yeah you she know? doesn't cry so when she does cry you know either three things either she's uncomfortable because she has gas she has to poop or she is or she might be hot or she might be hot um either she's hungry or she's sleepy that's pretty much period that that's just it right now um which is great so like right now she's sleep and yeah she, you gonna ask me back what what it's been like to be a dad i mean how's it what's it been like i was sitting here i was sitting here like like you because know this video Pulling on, pulling on you and you know trying to get your perspective okay. you ain't even trying so to get my you, perspective what, how has parenting been for you how how was the pregnancy for you i think the pregnancy was pretty pretty um the pregnancy was good um y'all the whole time i was pregnant i was working that's that's the part that was in the video but when i was working every day he tried to tell me to come home Every day he wanted me to come home. He wanted me to, to just stop working. Because my wife is pregnant really. and she's asthmatic and we're in the coronavirus pandemic and we're in D.C. So, like, you could come home. Yeah, like, every day. You could come every home. Every day. But, yeah, but anyway, it was. I think it was good. Um, it was it was nerve-wracking a lot because pregnancy you can't control. I'm a big, you know, I like to predict stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what's going to happen? Like, you can't predict anything that's happening in the pregnancy. Like, it's just the unknown, you yeah. know? You never know what's going to happen when you go in the doctor's office. And just like usually with things one plus one equals two or three plus three equals six, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know that that's going to happen. But with pregnancy, you could walk in and they could say, well, your fluid levels are high and this could be because X, Y, and or Z. So we'll figure it out. Go home for the next three days and worry about, you know, what's wrong yeah. while we're trying to figure it out. But we don't know what it is. But just so you know, this shouldn't be happening right now. Yeah, the unknown. You know, like that is that is mind blowing. You know, like you go home for the next three days wondering if your baby's okay. Yeah. And you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you don't know what's going on in there. If she's okay, if she's not. Like that that part wrecks my brain. But yeah. taking care of you and making sure that you were good was the was the highlight of my life. Oh my life. goodness, y'all! I was like a queen. I'm still a queen. Mm -hmm. But I would, like you treated you me mean? like the way that he handled things, the way he spoke to me, the way I wouldn't have to worry about anything around the house or anything like that because he was just like, uh -uh. y'all, I found out that I love to cook. <laughs> well, yeah, when I came home, he's like, put your put your feet up. You need to rest. What's my baby doing? How are you feeling? Like hand and foot, and still now hand and foot, very attentive. You but you've been like that before we were even pregnant. Like very attentive, pays attention to everything. Even with this little baby we got here, he's very attentive, very hands-on. So I appreciate you for that. So how is your daddy walk? I think it's great. Um, for the last month. I think, I think, like you said, just learning her. I don't think we've dealt with kids, you know, with our with our little sisters or, you know, you know, just little family, like the family kids. So we've changed pampers and we've, you know, fed babies and stuff. Like that wasn't nothing new. I just think realize adjusting to the fact that she ain't never leaving like she's here every day every day you know you wake yeah. up she here you go to bed she here when you in the middle of the day she here if you want a nap you might not get it 
Yeah. You know, I think it's the big, okay to want the it. big adjustment, <laughs> the big adjustment yeah. for me was like, you're not going to get no sleep, bro. Yeah. You're going to get some. Mm-hmm. Very minimal. Yeah. But you're going to get some, you yeah. know. But for me, like, getting sleep and getting enough sleep was a thing. But I think now I've adjusted to my body. A lot of times at 3 o'clock in the morning, my body's up. Yeah. Just because I know that that's the time that she wakes up, you know, like last night we were just up together, you know, yeah, at like four, four o'clock, o'clock this morning, morning just, just walking chilling. around. Chilling. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank you for making it to the end. Please stay tuned because we would have some more things coming in the future. Oh my God. I just oh, my baby. Come on, bro. With my baby. <laughs> my Instagram, please follow at nothing underscore the number two S U T T O N. And I am at underscore Sean Sutton S E A N S U T T O N. Please like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications bro we will be coming back please comment down below anything that y'all want to see from us anything that y'all want to know from us any questions um if y'all want to know about the part that my wife was just talking about like when we got home it wasn't really necessarily um hard being a mother but it was hard with what was going on if y'all want to hear that story can you come on bro stop doing that <laughs> I'm just, every time i talk you over here like this i can't focus if y'all want to know what that story was comment below tell us you want to know um we'll see y'all soon we love y'all thank you so much and we Bye. out this always been hard for me oh, oh, lord have mercy oh.